this one we're going to be chipping a TD5 ECU. Now uh, this is for pre-2002 TD5s so that have uh, got an MSB ECU, not the NNN variant which is remappable. So first of all we've got to take the ECU out of the vehicle. So basically it's underneath the driver's seat, you just pop the seat base off. 8mm, just undo these three little bolts. Well, a couple of them are a little bit awkward to get to, but undo them and then you just pop each connector off. Nice and easy. Take the bolts out. I've already slackened them off. And that's it, your ECU will just pop out. So take your ECU and then we'll take it to the bench and we'll carry on from there. And the Discovery is underneath the bonnet which is really easy to take off. It's only one Phillips screw and it's just in front of the car battery. Uh, taking the lid off can be a bit awkward. So bring it in your kitchen, boil the kettle and once you've removed the Torx security screws you can actually pour hot water on it all the way around the top of the casing and it will get really really hot so you better put some gloves on then you can just pry it away carefully all the way around just helps uh, get the bonding nice and hot so it unsticks a little bit better so we've got the ECU on the bench now and um, we've took the lid off get rid of that and then uh, we'll be using a hot air rework station to lift the chip I'll just show you the chip you can have a look through here can just see the chip that's the the chip there it's just a 27c 1024 so because that's soldered to the board we'll be just be lifting that with hot air i'll show you how to do that in a minute and we'll, rep we'll be replacing it with a socket uh soldered to the board and then programming a, a, a fresh chip with the performance map on it so i'll just take you through the steps of doing that so there's the chip we're going to remove and there's the socket we're going to replace. What I tend to do with these sockets is um, they have a bit of a back grid. I pop that off, so I just get something like a pencil, just push hard in the middle, and that just pops it all off. Get rid of the little plastic bits. Just easier to solder like that, so otherwise you're going through all the little gaps and melting the plastics. So. We'll fire up the hot air workstation, rework station, might be a bit noisy because of the pump, and then we'll just lift the chip. Just keep heating it all the way around, it takes a while to heat up. chip will just fold off like that so as you can see the chip's just been lifted all the pads are nicely intact just uh, get rid of the chip and then what I do is just get a little fibre pen like that just like uh, glass fibres at the end and I just clean up all the pads from all the old flux, make sure they're nice and clean. Got to be a bit careful you don't lift one of the pads, so just nice and gentle. Get it all the way around. Then ready for the soldering iron now. So just heat up the soldering iron. 
not the best camera for this really, but you get the gist of it anyway. So I just clean up all the pads with the soldering iron. Nice and quickly. Okay, so all the uh, solder nice and smooth again. And then I just use one of these flux pens. Um, can't really read it there really. But they're just nice and thin liquid, so they flow quite nice on the pad. So just get that nice lip prepared with flux. That's all good. And get your socket that we prepared earlier. You have to have the corner facing the right direction, which is just here and line it up nice and carefully all four ways then i just get one on each side so it secures it somewhere in the middle doesn't have to be bang on in the middle but you know somewhere just to hold it in position And then just go over all the solder joints one at a time. Just give it a few seconds on each one so you can see the solder flowing. Make sure there's no dry joints. Flux helps nicely with that. There's other methods of doing it, but I like doing each pin individual. Because then you know it's right. There's adapters you can put on certain soldering irons where they'll do all the pins in one hit. But I don't trust that. So I just like to do them one at a time. Just five or six seconds on each one. You can see when it's flowing anyway. It's pretty much the same procedure for a lot of ECUs back in the day before the remappable ones came out. You had to chip them all. Helps to have a really small soldering iron tip because they are quite small the contacts. That's it, they're all done. Just turn that noisy soldering iron off. So you can see all the contacts there. Be better showing you through here actually. I'll just get the camera so you can see all the contacts in there, all soldered if it focuses on it. <laughs> and it's just ready for the uh, chip programming and slotting it in, then. So we'll show you how to do that. So I use a well-on programmer, quite decent programmers, don't ever get any right fails with it. Um, got the chip in it, it's just a blank 27C1024. And uh, fit that in the appropriate adapter. 
and I've got that wired up to my power supply on 9 volts for the programmer. Uh, USB to the old laptop with the Wellen software on it. I've already got the file loaded and the chip type. So I just click program there. That'll program the chip. And it takes a few seconds. That's all good, no problems there. Uh, it's just a case of popping the chip out and going over to the socket and then pushing it in. So it'll be a nice tight fit. There we go, all pushed in and that's it, chipped. So I just end up uh, popping that back in your vehicle and we're good to go. So one thing you've got to watch out for is the chip orientation. As you can see, the top right hand corner has got a little cut out. So you've got to make sure that they align up correctly with the socket when you insert it. So if I look at the ECU, to the top right, that corner there has got the cut out. And that's it. Throw it back in the vehicle now. So yeah, just back in the vehicle, pop your ECU bolts back in, tighten them up, like I say, 8mm nuts, bolts, sorry, and then uh, pop your plugs back on again, and then make sure she fires up. Make sure she's out of gear. And that's it, job's a good one, ready for action. Monster map, done. So that's it for this one. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've learned something. Uh, check out my other videos on my channel. Like and subscribe or dislike or comment. Say you're a proper knobhead, whatever you want, mate. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. See ya.